Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? And welcome back. And oh man, what you got going on there? Yeah, I've got two real ch chicken breasts. I went, and what I mean real is that the, the bone in, skin's on and everything. And what we're doing is we're just going to season them up a little bit. We're going to do a little bit of a uh, bacon weave, put that on top of it. And then uh, we'll uh, get, them on the, get them on the grill. We're going to cook on charcoal tonight, indirect, on the PK grill. So, you know, stay tuned for that. Let's, you know, I've, in the past I've shown you how to do a bacon weave. We're going to do a real simple one. Just three strips going this way. They get, get started here. You just uh, put one like that. You go like this. You flip this one up flip this one up put your next uh, piece of bacon in really really simple to do remember I, and I've said this before if I can do it uh, obviously you can do it and then flip this one up like that and then the the tricky part there is is now how are you gonna get this on, on, onto, onto our chicken so we just kind of want to pick it up real careful like and you can always put it back together if it falls apart on you but I want to get my fingers kind of underneath everything here and then just uh, Pick her up and uh, put it on my chicken. Can you see? Can you see that? See, it just goes on like that. Now, now what I'm using for uh, spices today? Let me wipe my hands really. You know, to kind of be careful here. The, um, what I'm using here for spicing today is I'm using some stuff from by Saver Spices of uh, www.saverspices.com, and uh, this stuff is. Uh, I'm putting this on the chicken, and this is called Moroccan chicken. One of the nice things about Savor Spices is that everything's all natural. So if I'll read the ingredients to you. Uh, it's brown sugar, sea salt, pepper, herbs and spices, no MSG, soy, nuts, dairy, corn, or wheat gluten. No artificial stuff. Our blends contain only the highest quality natural herbs and spices. That, and that's one of the things I like about it. It's, it's all natural. There, there ain't stuff in there that you can't pronounce. And I, I tell you what, uh, www.saverspices.com. And you like it. And then on, on top of the bacon, they make a, a product called Super Pig. And uh, it's got brown sugar in it and some other stuff here. Uh, brown sugar, sea salt, pepper, herbs and spices. And that really... Even if you're just doing bacon on its own, uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, this stuff is really awesome on there. Now, what I want to do to keep, uh, and I did it already on this one, uh, to, to keep my bacon from curling up on me is I'm just using spaghetti here. So I just want to take spaghetti and obviously uncooked spaghetti and push it into our chicken. Sometimes it's a little tough to get in. There it goes. And I want to do it right where my intersections are, where, the, where they overlap each other. And break it off and uh, do this side like this. You see what I'm doing there? And then uh, this side like like that. You gotta press sometimes a little bit harder to get it in. And what this will do is this will keep it from um, from curling up on you. At least that's the theory. We're gonna find out, aren't we? And um, one more right here. And then what I do is then uh, you break them off somewhat flush and uh, or push them in so they're flush and uh, what will happen is that this the moisture from the meat will get into the into the spaghetti and it'll actually go away you know so you, it's not like putting a toothpick in where you gotta always take the toothpick out and, and I, you're gonna say where did I learn this I learned that on let's talk bar I know I talk about let's talk barbecue.com all the time but that's where I learned a lot of the stuff that I show you people. I, I learned it on there. So give them a shout, letstalkbarbecue.com. You can watch from afar or you can join and, and take part in everything. But we'll uh, get these on the grill. And guess where we'll see you next? That's right, at the grill. All right, folks, we're down at the grill, and uh, we got our PK set up here. I've got Kingsford in there. I'm doing it indirect. i got a chunk of cherry wood on there also. Actually, I'm using Kingsford hickory. Uh, with a chunk of cherry wood on there. I've got it going indirect, so my, my coals are on this side. i got the bottom vent. The vents are the same on the bottom, so the bottom vent is, is open on this side, closed on here. My food, my chicken's on this side, so the bottom vent is closed. Top vent is open three-quarters of the way. Let's, let's take a look. Like I said, I just put them on. And uh, we're going to take this up to 165. We're going to take the chicken up to 165, and uh, we'll see how it turns up. And... Uh, Thanks for watching. Well, hey, folks, we're back, and we're about a little, little over an hour into it. You can see this night. We got nice smoke pouring out of there. Temperature is uh, a little above 250, uh, right where I want it to be. And uh, just take a quick look. I know they're not done yet, but let's just take, take a quick look at our uh, chicken here. Oh man, look at that! Looking mighty nice. So, get this covered back up, and we'll uh, 
we'll give you a look-see once it's plated up. Well, hey folks, there it is. There's our final product. Uh, that was about two hours and um, turned out really nice. And, you know, let's just take a quick test. I took a little sample out of the bigger one right in the center. You can see it, it definitely is done. No, no, man. Nice and juicy. Got some taste there of the smoke of the bacon. I'll tell you what, it's really nice. Really, really nice. So, you know, don't forget to subscribe. Tom Horseman at YouTube. And as always, folks, remember, if I can do it, you can do it. This was really easy to do. And uh, as always, I, I can't say it enough. <laughs> I really do appreciate you watching. Thank you.